leaves are going to be a little... Oh, I just went off in the ditch. That's fine. That field is covered in onions. Look like bluegrass, like actual bluegrass. Sorry, I'm going to ramble and ramble and ramble all through this video. What's going on everybody? James with That's Right Lawn Care. I know it's been a couple of days since I've done a video. Uh, we had a couple of days of rain. I didn't really get out and do anything. I had to uh, deliver a golf cart yesterday and pick up a golf cart and there wasn't really too much going on. Bunch of granny couch sitting is what I've done. Been playing a lot of brick breaker and I've been breaking bricks. We had tons of rain so I actually, uh, I cut my yard for the first time after aeration and seed, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that here in a second. But I've got 15 yards on the list today. Woke up, it is 50 degrees outside. I got a hoodie on, so it's kind of chilly. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna go get to work. Got 15 yards on the list. Gotta gas up. Gotta get to it. First, I wanna share something with y'all. So a lot of y'all will remember Will that used to work with me. If you don't remember him, go back and watch some of those older videos. He was probably in at least 80 of them. He ventured off into his own world of uh, water pre high, high pressure water washing business, um, something like that. So he got him a big pressure washer and he's getting into the business of uh, washing houses, doing soft washes and roof washing and uh, pressure washing and uh, driveways and stuff like the surface washing, whatever you want to call it. He's actually, I've referred him to several customers of mine and he's been doing quite a bit of work. I know he's, uh, he's, from what I hear, he stayed pretty busy, but he was able to drop by yesterday. He hooked me up with a sticker. He actually hooked me up with a couple of stickers. Hooked me up with uh, four of them. So one, of course, is gonna go in the shed and one, I'm about to go put it on the easy gate right now, but check out that cool little logo. Skyle Services, house wash and pressure wash. It's like a clear sticker, and we'll, we'll, we'll definitely look at that whenever we get back to the easy gate. But it's like a clear sticker, but it's got like this cool haze to it. So I'm, uh, I'm very proud of him, by the way, uh, branching off and doing his own thing. Uh, I could only give him, you know, so many hours. I'm, I wasn't 100% booked up seven days a week. Wasn't able to provide him with, you know, 40 plus hours a week. I'm happy for him for being able to do that. You know, it's it's something, you know, not a lot of people have the drive to do. Not a lot of people have the will to do it, but he did, he got out, he's starting his own thing. I couldn't be happier for him. You know, there's nothing wrong with bettering yourself. And uh, if there's any employees out here watching, don't take that, you know, any kind of certain way. Your employer definitely appreciates you. So let's go put this sticker on the easy gate. We'll throw him right here. So I'm gonna hand clean a spot off. Get that all nice and shiny peel that off here's what i was talking about you see how it's kind of kind of a hazy look there we go all right so i put a cut on the yard yesterday uh <laughs> probably should have waited you know like another week but we were getting to where most of the grass was coming up to about six inches something like that um so i cut it at four inches that's one third of the blade for those of you wondering um your first cut and pretty much all cuts you shouldn't take more than one third of the blade off uh, especially for new grass it's it's still trying to uh, mature and everything so you do not want to put any kind of major stress on it so cutting it any more than one third of the blade cutting any more than that off is kind of stressful for it um, especially while it's trying to grow so I'll go ahead and tell you the first thing I did is I took the, I was, the, we had a lot of rain. I was kind of skeptical about getting the big zero turn out here and uh, laying some stripes, which as you can see, I did. But I took the push mower first and uh, Tori Jr. out here spitting her game, wanted to lay some stripes. And then of course, after I did that, I got a branch down over there. After I did that, I came back with uh, Skag and threw some stripes down. 
but I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's not 100% yet. It will be coming in. I've thrown quite a bit of seed down, but it is coming in nicely. So if y'all uh, watched my Instagram post last night, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this branch while I'm letting my truck warm up. Um, some of y'all might have watched my Instagram story yesterday and saw that I, I cut the yard, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it. So I do a little, uh, you get to see some some before YouTube stuff on uh, Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go check me out. But since we had all that rain that was coming in, I went ahead and uh, threw some extra seed down. Still got some thin spots and stuff, but it's coming in nicely. It will thicken up because right now this is just thin baby blade. So it'll thicken up here within the next couple of weeks. This yard's gonna look really good. It already looks decent. It's kind of thin around the edges, but I went real heavy on the seed and I might go a little heavier on the seed and throw some more seed out. But let's go to the gas station, get some gas, head off to our first yard. Catch you in a few. All right, we got our first one knocked out. I didn't record it because I knew it was gonna be quite a bit of work. Um, but all we did was pretty much cut it. This is the one where it's got the nice soysia yard I've posted several times uh, on Instagram. And also uh, it's made it into some videos, but it's also the one where we uh, clean up the back 40 of the yard. So like 40% of the yard, where did that work? About 40% of the yard in the back is, uh, is like ivy. So we just kind of keep it tamed a couple of times a year. But this house is uh, being closed next Friday. So this is the last cut. So I sat and chatted with the owner for a little while and we talked and uh, you know, pretty much just said our goodbyes. He's gonna be moving to North Tennessee. So probably won't ever see him again, but you know, hopefully he's watching this video and he knows that, uh, that I definitely appreciate him. I appreciate, you know, talking with him and everything. Every time we came over here, he's a real nice guy. He likes to watch my fishing videos. He's, a, he's an avid fisherman himself. So he's moving up to his lake property in North Tennessee and uh, you know i'm i'm kind of sad because you know he, he was real nice to talk to and everything uh, but he's he's retired he's going to he's going up there to live his life doing what he loves fishing so uh hopefully i, I might get an invite up there ellis if you're watching uh i'd love to come up there and fish with you but hey if not definitely we'll stay in touch and we'll uh share pictures of fish and stuff like that and we'll keep in touch so uh off to the next one and uh here we go. I got y'all hooked up on the uh, the window windshield the suction cup mount whatever it's called um, anyways but I did want to talk about uh, leaves today so as we are 
um, transitioning in from cutting grass to uh, doing leaves, cleaning up leaves uh, for the most part. And it really just depends on how the weather goes, you know. Uh, but for the most part, in my area, we mow until just about October. We try and mow all the way through October. Which some yards now are still coming in. Some yards are are going out. And that's because we live in the transition zone. So we have cool season and warm season grasses. Um, so we'll have Bermuda is going to be going dorm, into dormancy pretty soon. I think within next week because we're supposed to have some chilly days. Some 30s. Um, Mid 30s is what I'm seeing. So that's a thing bermuda zoysia saint augustine those types of grasses are going to be going out in our area and we're going to start seeing a lot of leaves um, now we do have a lot of leaves after the storm and the high winds that we just had from uh, hurricane zeta zeta i don't keep up with it um, so we are slowly starting to be transitioning into leaves so i wanted to talk about how i charge for leaves uh, leaves are total different ball game and it's just like when you're pulling up to mow a yard you know you, you don't have a set price for everything guess what i'm getting at it's every yard's different you might have a, a 50 dollars yard that you cut that doesn't have any trees and you'll just continue with uh you know neighbor's leaves or stuff like that and you'll just continue that price out for 50 dollars. then you might have a yard you cut for 50 dollars. it's got you know five six trees in it and um of course that price is going to go up so what y'all just saw was a perfect example of you know minimal trees in the yard there's a, a bradford pear in the front and a, one bigger tree in the back and of course it backs up to the woods so as y'all saw what i did there is i just slowly pushed the leaves out to the out to the wood line um, so for that i do not charge any extra for it's easy simple um, i'm not there too much longer if not the same time because uh, at that time of year your trimming is going to be minimal. Um, it's it's you're not going to have to double cut. If if you got a yard and you're having to spend um, a little bit extra time on just because you got a bunch of leaves, a bunch of trees in that yard, um, it's it's not going to be the same price. You're going to have to uh, think about your time, think about how long you're there, uh, how much extra work you're going to have to use. And then of course everybody's hourly fee is going to be a little different just because. I might not have as much overhead as you do, or you may not have as much as I do. So, <clears throat> when doing leaves, just price accordingly. You know, you can kind of, it's just like looking at a yard. You can kind of tell, all right, well, this is going to take me, you know, if it's a yard you already cut and it takes you 30 minutes to cut, and then plus leaves is going to take you that much longer, then double the price. So, if you're going to be there, if it's a 30 minute yard and you're going to be there an hour, double the price charging for your time you're charging for uh, your equipment use you know there's uh, a lot of people don't think about that they just think oh leaves it's just you know we'll, we'll clean this up it's no extra fee and some people may do that of course and of course I do have some customers that I will spend a little extra time at and I do not charge them anything more because I know their situate their financial situations and stuff like that but it is Friday. I'm excited. I hope y'all are having an awesome Friday. I'm headed off to yard number three. Uh, probably already got enough footage to call this a video, but we'll try and throw some more mowing footage in. We'll say that last yard is a $50 yard. It has, um, it's a bi-weekly, but it's a $50 yard. And this next one we're going to is a $50 yard as well. It is um, weekly, but as she has minimal trees in her yard, Actually, I don't think she has a tree in her yard. No trees in her yard. No leaves. Uh, she does have some fescue that's coming up. It's a primary... It's a mostly Bermuda yard, but it does have some fescue and some, I think some bluegrass coming in. Um, but we're going to pull up to it, see if it needs another cut. If we're going to cut it or not, we may. And, um, and we'll be off to the next yard there's no way i'm going to get all 15 yards done but you know we'll get done what we can move the rest into tomorrow so let's get to the next yard
All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope y'all have an awesome weekend. Be careful if you're going to be going out trick-or-treating with your family, kiddos, stuff like that. Just be on the lookout if you're going to be out partying or something like that. Have a DD, a designated driver. Um, I'm not your boss. I can't tell you what to do, but guys, just be careful. Um, there's going to be not as many kids out, but, you know, I'm sure still some neighborhoods are going to be trick-or-treating. I know uh, some of the neighborhoods in our area, there's still their signs up saying trick or treat you know times and stuff like that so uh just be careful if you get out tomorrow night guys that's pretty much gonna wrap it up right here i'm about to run in get uh get a shower and head off to this party i'm gonna get in and upload this video first then we'll go party but uh y'all have an awesome weekend stay safe if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button shoot me a thumbs up catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.